Time in YouTube and welcome back to No EXs. Today I have a special treat and we're going to be looking over Noivern Break. Now, obviously, over the channel's small history, we featured Noivern a few times, but today I definitely wanted to go over one of my favorite cards from Breakthrough. And for me, I'm actually going to a tournament uh, tomorrow and I'll be running a kind of variation of this deck. I'll be using Shamans over Octillery, but I thought I'd go over it for a no EX purpose because why not challenge ourselves when we have the opportunity to do so? Uh, to go over the deck, we still have the regular Noivern from Furious Fist with Echo Location. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin if heads prevent the damage. With the attack for one Psychic, Dark Energy, and Colorless, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So we're starting to get some area effects right off the bat. And what it desperately needed, I found, when I played this deck before, was it needed Synchro Woofer, which is for the same energy cost as Boom Burst. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage plus the base 70. So you're going to do 150 damage. Now you could run this with Muscle Bands, but because you're going to be using Boom Burst anyway, maybe as a startup, maybe to get ahead, you're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage. And what I've done is instead of running the Muscle Band, I've run a 3-3-2 line of the Crobats, which with uh, Crobat and Golbat carrying the Surprise Bite, which does 20 damage for Golbat and 30 damage for Crobat uh, whenever it's evolved. So we're going to see some huge damage there. Like I said, I would normally run, like, so I'm running 2-2 two and two of the Octillery line. Uh, for the Abyssal Hand only. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in hand. Um, normally, I'd run Shaman, simply because it's a little bit more efficient, and I can start using a couple more other trainer cards. Like, two and two is quite a bit of space when you're already so full on Pokemon. Whereas, with Shaman, it's like I can use two, two cards to get the same effect, roughly, and then I can... Uh, either add another trainer, a supporter card, or something that is more necessary in the deck. Uh, for our trainers, we are going to have two level ball, one super rod to get back anything that might go to the discard a little early, uh, three super scoop ups for the crowbats, we have a couple ultra balls, the VS seeker support, we've got battle reporter, this way we can kind of keep up with our opponent's hand and definitely get uh, our best damage output with synchro woofer. Uh, we got Bridget to try and get out all the basics, which, you know, getting three basics out of your deck is great because we can start loading up the bench and start setting up early. Um, we have Judge, definitely works with Super Woofer. You usually want to use this last before you attack. This way, you and your opponent have the exact same hand and you're able to just go for maximum damage. Uh, we have one Lysander, get ourselves in the advantage point. We have Birch for hand support. Fairy Garden is actually here because with the double with double dragon energy, which I'll showcase in a second, uh, it provides any energy for Noivern. Well, giving it the opportunity to escape for free is really huge, especially if he's taking a lot of damage or he's not ready to be in the active position. You want to get him out of there quicker than later, uh, sooner than later. This is a card that can definitely help it out. Um, and then, obviously, as just uh, mentioned, we have. Four Dragon Energy. We have, I believe, three and six? Yes, three and six of the energy, just in case we see ourselves up against an Aegislash EX deck. This way, Noivern's not going to get completely stalled by this. Um, so without any further ado, let's test this little guy and see just what he could do on Pokemon TCG Online. And our first game of the day is going to be against Mathis Lig... Jagger, he gets to call the coin, and we're going to see, he wins it, so he gets to decide if he's going to go first or second, uh, or not, we're going to go first, apparently, okay, and we're going to see no basics in our hand, and he has no basics in hand, so that's kind of beneficial. 
You're gonna rehand size this. We're gonna see. We get. Oh boy, Zubat. He still has no basics in hand. So we at least are no, we know we're gonna start. He still has nothing. This poor guy. He's sitting here waiting for that basic. He still has nothing. I see a lot of a lot of stuff. St I see a very stally deck. Uh oh, he's running the beautifly line. Too bad for him. We have no EXs. There we go. There's a basic. Uh, yes. We'll do this three times. Get three additional cards. No basics, guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got to know that. Um. I want to start setting up Noibat right away. And we see a Trevenin at EX on the other side. So he may take a little bit to set up, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to save the Fairy Garden for next turn. This way he can kind of set up his supporter line so we can see what he's kind of got going for him. And I don't want to waste a Fairy Garden because we only have two in the deck. There's a Grass Energy going on to the Trevenant. This gives a Dark Force. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. That's not very good for us. So we're taking 20. We're seeing a Psychic Energy in play. Um, we're going to play the, for the Fairy Garden. As much as I don't want to, I almost think I might have to judge here. Because I need the Noivern or a Golbat. As much as I've got tons of energy, I've got tons of other stuff. Oh, this is still not a very good hand. Well, I'm going to attach the Psychic Energy to Noibat. Kind of missing the middle ground for Noivern. It would have been a great turn to set up Noivern. Um, I'm going to level ball, get a Remoraid, so I can start uh, hopefully getting the Octillery line in play so I can not get stuck with this kind of uh, hand. And we're going to end the turn. He's going to knock out Zubat in the next two turns. So unfortunately I am going to lose one of our uh, damage dealing lines for support. But it's not the end of the world. He's going to Tyrno. Draw three cards. He's going to Dark Forest this again. Very understandable. We're going to get another Noibat. I'm... I'm in a very bad position because I really don't want to lose them. But at the same point, I can get the Noivern break back from the uh, Super Rod if it comes up. So I'm going to go for the Octillery because I need a hand support here. This this hand is definitely needing the support. So we're going to see Abyssal Hand come in. Can we get a Noivern? We do not. We do get another Zubat. So... Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's no point in scooping up right now. I'm going to potentially just judge. And this is a problem right here, is I don't want to waste on my judges early on because it's necessary for uh, uh, Noivern Break to get off all that superior damage. So I am going to attach the energy to Noibat. At least now we've got a setup Noibat ready to go if Noivern actually shows his face. We're going to hit it. We're going to at least damage this Trevenant. Get in some damage, and can I retreat now? Yes, we're going to waste up the other Zubat. No point in taking all that unnecessary damage when we have a Crobat ready to go in the hand. We can play it, set ourselves up for some additional cards with the Octillery, then potentially judge it if we have to. So, even if we get a Golbat, we might be alright. But he's, he's going to wood blast us, so we're going to take heavy damage. So this poor this poor little guy isn't going to see the light of day today. He's going to take the first prize. And I unfortunately have to set up gold bat again. And I'm going to evolve into Crobat. Get 30 damage onto the Trevenant. Whoops. Thank you. And, uh... Artillery, let's see what you can give us. 
We got our super rod, and are you serious here? I am going to quickly super rod, getting our three Pokemon back into the deck. I don't want to lose them right off. And uh, I'm going to Professor Birch, save the judges. I'm going to flip tails, so I'm, not, I'm still not getting anything here. I'm going to put up the Zubat. And consider myself in a really bad position, because he can wood, fall, wood blast me for 50, 70, 90, 110. Oh yeah, that's going to knock out Crobat. I would rather lose the Zubat line, to be honest. Yes, I can get it. Bring it back. Bring up the Zubat. Bring up this Zubat. Zubats are doing quite a bit of damage right now. Um... I'm not going to waste that energy just to skill, by, uh, skill dive for 10. It's not worth it. Not in my opinion, anyway. Um, we're going to see another grass energy. He is super powering this Trevenant up. He's going to super potion for 60. That's a fully healed Trevenant again. Wood Blast is going to knock out Zubat here. We are in a bit of a pickle here. Um, even with all this draw support, like I've gone through almost half the deck and we're still like not getting much. Which is weird. There's another Noivern break. Don't need the breaks. So we're going to go into a Golbat. 20 damage onto the Trevenant. I need to place up this energy. So I can utilize Octillery's Abyssal Hand at the most I can. I need... Still no Noivern. I'm really hoping this guy's not prized. We're going to Battle Reporter. <sighs> Holy. There's four Noiverns in here and we're, 20, we're over half the deck in and we still haven't seen one. Uh, so Supercross will do 10 damage. We are going to lose uh, Golbat this turn. So unfortunately, the support line that we have is doing all the work, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Our opponent's going to get 30 HP more from the special grass energy. And our hand is apparently getting shuffled back in and getting four more cards. Still no Noivern, though. Oh, man. This guy's keeping us at bay, but at the same point, it's almost what we want. But at the same point, it's not. Um, hmm. I'm in a tough call. I'm in a very tough call right now. I'm going to play the Remoraid. It's my not most not necessary card I have. Again with... <clears throat> oh, man. I'm going to attach the Energy Drop to Remoraid. I'm going to judge, because I really don't have much of a say in this. I can't search Noivern through the level ball. Um, I'll utilize the level ball. I can grab the Octillery. Yes, he will take out an Octillery. However, I need as much draw support as I can get right now. And if I can get that Noivern, still no Noivern. Oh, man. Um, another Bissell Hand. Come on, Noivern. Come on, Noivern. Dark Energy. Are we serious here? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to lose an Octillery here. He's going to get to the point where we're actually unable to take him out. We need a Noivern. Can we come back from this? Oh, he's played another Trevenant. Here's a VS Seeker. What are we going to see come up? We're going to see a Tyrano. He's going to draw an additional three cards. And are we going to see an energy drop onto the other one? We're going to see a Professor's Letter. So we're going to see this guy is very energy heavy. Very energy heavy. Uh, like I said, energy drop onto the Trevenant. And he's going to wood blast us. 260. 
Holy shoot, we're in trouble. We only have a couple turns left before uh, we're going to see a problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. We've got six. Attach an energy to the Noibat so we can get it out. We're going to battle reporter. And there's a Noivern! It's been in the deck the entire time. It just didn't want to show its face. Oh. I'm going to retreat into the Noivern. Now, of course, I have echolocation. I can survive a turn if I want to, or if I can flip the heads. But if I don't, I'm in trouble. Like, I'm in serious trouble. Um, actually, I do believe I've already battled, or I've reported already. So, I'll grab the birch, because I don't need all these energies in hand. I really don't. I'm going to boom burst, get some damage off on this thing. He's going to draw a couple extra cards. Oh. We can knock this thing out if we can get a break. If we can get the break and an echo location off, oh, the game isn't over yet. But if one coin flip goes wrong, we, we will lose. But thankfully there, we didn't go down. We're going to get our second Noivern into play. So we still have an opportunity here to make ourselves a, a little bit of ground comeback. Um, we're going to Birch. Hopefully flip a coin. Nope, tails. But no break. Oh, man. Well, at least next turn I'll still have a Noivern active. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm almost missing the Abyssal Hand. Are we going to draw that break? I know it's in there. No, we're going to grab a Zubat. We'll play said Zubat. But uh, we are going to go for the Boom Burst. This way we have done some damage to our opponent. He may have Super Potions in hand, though. More special energies, even. There's a ton of options he can do. And hopefully we can land another heads to keep ourselves... Oh no, there goes a special energy. Thankfully our active Noivern isn't going to take any recoil from that. Uh-oh, but he is going to bring out that other... Oh, he's bringing out our artillery. Nothing I can do against that. And we are down to one prize card left, folks. He, he has got us right down to the wire. And unfortunately, I did not grab a break. Oh, man. I'll play the DD on the Noivern. This way it's out of the deck that we don't have to play from. We're going to see a ton of his cards disappear. We are going to see the break, but... It's not enough to take out Trevin and EX. Actually, 80... No, it's still not enough to take out the uh, the first Trevenant. So we are going to Gold Bat. We're going to do 20 to the active. We're going to Noivern Break. And... Mathematically, I'm only going to be at 150, so it's there's not enough damage on it. I will Boom Burst. This way, I can get a little bit of extra damage on it, on top of the other one that is going to take some damage. But unfortunately, if he has a Lysander or a VS Seeker, we have lost this game because of Golbat. Not that it's Golbat's fault. They put in the most work in this. Uh, they do place an energy drop. He's going to go for the Whiplash, and we lose this first game. Unfortunately, we got a little unlucky there. Almost, what, 10 turns in before a Noivern even showed its face? But alas, that is Pokemon TCG. Um, I'll be right back with our second episode. Er, not episode, second battle. Our second game is going to be against I'm Skafan. And he's playing a fighting deck. They're going to get to call the coin. And we're going to see... 
We're going to see it flip and flip and flip and flip. Oh. So tell me, guys, what have you guys thought of the break mechanics so far? Have you picked one that is your favorite? Like, I've picked Neuvern as my favorite at the moment. I know a lot of people like Zorork, I think it was. Um... Uh, they get to decide if they're going first, and they're going to hit it. So we are going to get... Oh my, another Zubat start. This is not good for us. Um, we're going to see a Timber on their side. So we have a bit of an advantage here. We have a Resistance. We're super effective. Not really what I want to see right now, but hey... Um, I don't want to judge turn one, but it might be what I have to do. I'm going to judge turn one, because that's what I have to do. I got another Noivert, I got Noibat, I got a level ball. I can start setting some stuff up. And I'll almost have a turn ready for next turn with another judge. Um, I'm going to go for the Remoraid, get ourselves started with the Octillery line, and that's going to be the turn. So I did get a little bit out even with the bad start. It's not that these decks, it's not that this deck has to have that amazing first hand. It'd be great to have like a Noivern turn two going for Boom Burst, but it's, it's a lot of cards to ask for. But what is our opponent going to be doing? He's going to place the energy drop onto the timber. Now, advantage here is we do have a little bit of um, wait time because he has to... Oh my, he's Pokeballing. Don't see that very often. And he fails it. I'm starting to wonder how our opponent's uh, deck really is. He's going to go for the pummel. He's going to flip another Tails. I am so sorry, buddy. Uh, we got a Noivern break. Not really necessary, so I'm just going to judge up. And out of what we got, Golbat at least has a bit going for it. Um, I'll place the energy counters on the Timber because honestly, if Conkelder gets a lot of energy later on, if he's playing that particular make of Conkelder, it can be a little scary. Unfortunately, though, with what I have in hand, it's not really necessary to play. Uh, so I'm going to pass my turn. That hand didn't work out so hot. Problem with four cards is it's really not a lot to work with. The girder is going to come into play. Now he does have two energies, so if he gets that third energy on, he can hammer arm, which will do 40, and my top card will be discarded. That's not good. Any any use of, useful tools we can have is starting to disappear. And there goes a battle researcher. So there's a level ball. We can at least get our Octillery into play. Grab an Octillery. Evolving Remoraid. We can start getting this little engine going. Hopefully grabbing a Noivern. No, we do not grab a Noivern. So I am sadly going to have to judge without using any of my other supports. Because the Battle Reporter isn't going to get us anywhere. We did get the Noivern and a Crobat. So Crobat's going to come in. It's going to do some uh, some little damage to the Girder. 30 damage is not something to laugh at. Uh, Noivern's coming out. And I'm going to pass the turn. Again, with that resistance and the extra HP, Crobat's going to survive at least another turn, and I can bring him back with a super scoop up, obviously, if I flip heads. And then hoping to uh, score some additional uh, card draw from Octillery, maybe getting the break, maybe getting a, uh, a DDE. We're not out of this game. He's going to set down the Regirock, though, and put a DCE on it. We're going to lose a Golbat. Um... Which may have actually been beneficial with that Zubat we just drew. Um, I'm going to Octillery. 
we got literally nothing we actually needed. Um, 40. He can do a maximum of 40 damage. Unless he evolves, then he can do pretty much. I don't know which make he has. Um, I am going to judge. Because I don't have Birch yet into the discard. And we're going to see what we can get here. I did get the break, but still no energy. That's a killer here. Is I haven't gotten anything worthwhile playing energy-wise. What is cool, though, is I've kept my opponent down in cards. I can attempt to scoop up here. And we do get to scoop up the uh, Crobat. Um, I might have just goofed. I don't think any of my other... Well, Zubat can live it. And we'll play the second Zubat. And I think that's our turn. Oh, man. We're trying our best here, guys. Trying our best. Um, if you have any op options as to what you may have been using for Noivern, let me know. I'm definitely interested to hear all your suggestions, as Noivern is definitely my favorite card currently in uh, Breakthrough Set. Um... I'm not a big fan of EXs usually. Like, yeah, sure, they're gorgeous and pretty and all the artwork. But um, I like trying to use something that not a lot of other people are going to. Not to say Noivern Break isn't something a lot of people have used. Obviously, they've seen these combos come before. Uh, they're not. It's not exactly uncommon. And there goes our Birch. So I might actually scoop that up with a VS Seeker. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to evolve Golbat. Into Golbat, I apologize. We're going to throw another 20 damage down onto the girder. Now it's at least in range of being knocked out. We're going to grab that birch. And hopefully we flip the heads and get some actual hand size. Nope, we get four cards. And no energy. Um, I'm going to play up the Noibat. We're going to retreat out because I can at least. I can at least Crobat and knock out the Girder, keeping him. We'll get the prize lead. And that's without Noivern even hitting the field yet. I got another break. Um. Okay. I'm going to place the energy on the Noivern, because in case I get an actual, another straight up energy, well, okay, I will need a dark energy. Um, it could benefit us for the next turn. He's going to Eva Soda, so he might be going into that Conkelder now. Yep, here comes Conkelder. And now he can do 60 plus other stuff they're gonna judge of their own that's not a negative for us that's a positive guys and there's the DDE we've been waiting so long for it's not the Conkelder I was expecting the one that has the HP gain uh, he can knock us out for sure um, not that I'm actually going to miss much of it um Okay, or not. I wasn't, I guess the uh, fairy energy wasn't what he was hoping for. I'm stuck in here. Hmm. Well, I can, no, no, wrong energy. We'll place the DDE. We're going to attempt to scoop up our little Zubat friend. We're going to, thank you. Put Noivern up into the active. We're going to try and play some cards here. Um... I will not be able to Synchro Woof for this turn, but I will get that Girder... Oh, sorry, the Conkelder is actually not going to knock out this turn. So I will Abyssal Hand. Um, actually it might. Uh, Crobat. Actually, we're going to knock out the Sand True. 30 damage onto the Sand True. 
And I don't really need either of those two. Yeah, if I do that, I can Synchro Woofer. So I will knock out these two cards. And the card I actually pull, I'll save until next turn. So I'm going to pull Noivern. Get a second card in hand. And now we can Synchro Woofer and knock out this Regirock. Just like that, folks. Just like that. We're going to get the first prize of the game. It's a little, while, a little ways in, actually. Um... I wasn't expecting this game to go as long as it was, but hey, hey, this guy's putting up a good fight. Um, we'll be able to boom burst now, knock out the sand true, or even the conch elders. I don't think in range yet. I need an additional ten damage. So if I get a gold bat, it's great. Uh, sand slash is not in range. This poor guy did not get any luck. He flipped tails on his part. I flipped heads on my part, so I take no damage. He gets no dynamic effects of any sort. Um, uh, we're going to place the energy drop onto the Noivern. Or the Noibat. Soon to be the Noivern. And... Since I can't... I can't... Uh, Wolfer here. I'm going to try and get myself some additional cards. I'm going to lock him into that girder. Going to lock him in. I'm going to go for a simple boom burst. This will get the damage on to the Conkeller that I need without taking unnecessary damage for myself. This way also, Noivern's going to be set up next turn. And we might have a bit of a a gainway here. Like, he needs three energies to retreat that that girder right now. Unless he has a switch in hand, but two cards? I don't know if he's going to. And regardless, I'm in range of knocking out at least something next turn, because Sand Slash is at 60. Conkelder's at 100, uh, is at 40. Girder is currently at 60, but in range of being knocked out in one shot from our super, uh, Synchro Woofer. We're going to get a second break into play here. And we're going to place the energy drop onto the Noivern. Now, I still can't get down to the fact of Synchro Woofing properly, but it's not necessary. Um, I'm going to Abyssal Hand. Maybe hoping to get a VS Seeker. Nope, not this time. Um, and we're going to go for... We're going to go for a Boom Burst. I don't want to knock out this thing. I don't want to see that Conkeller yet. We're getting a prize anyway. That's all we were going to get that turn. And we keep the Girder in place. We're going to knock out the Girder and the Conkeller next turn. We might actually have a double sweep here unless he has another bench Pokemon coming in. No, he's just going to give us the game, guys. That's Noivern in a heartbeat. Um... Obviously, like I said, there are some fine adjustments to this deck that I usually play with, but I wanted to showcase it in our No EX series. Definitely get the breaks into play here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me think what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite breaks are. Let me know what what you're thinking of so far of the set now that it's been out for a little bit. Um, and I'll catch you guys next time. Time out.